Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. What do you think of the hat? <laughs> this is uh, this is a Kangol, by the way, made from uh, kangaroo fur, uh, specially specially purchased from the I'm a celebrity get me out of here website to shop, and I'm wearing this as regular viewers of the channel will know. Uh, because I'm doing an unboxing now. The last unboxing I did was of the tire glider, uh, tire tool. Uh, yeah, that's probably, that's, I'll, I'll be honest, that probably wasn't one of my most successful videos. A couple of people said, uh, I've just wasted 17 minutes of my life. And I did I did leave a comment on one of them saying, actually, yeah, a, there, is a, there is a refund option on uh, uh, YouTube, uh, where if you press the button right in the middle of the screen, you can get that time you get that time refunded. It's refunded into a special YouTube bank and you can only recover it at certain times of the year. But it does work very well. But unfortunately, the uh, uh, time bank refund option button uh, for the Tire Glider um, unboxing sort of review uh, expired on the 5th of February. So I'm, supposed to, I'm sorry to say you missed that. So anyway, I'm doing an unboxing. So you're thinking, well, there is the box, Julian. We can't see the box. Well, um, I thought I'd give you a little, a little introduction about uh, why I've purchased this uh, particular item, and it does have something to do with the fact that I fell off my bike a couple of uh, weeks ago. Yeah, on the road to recovery, but still having a bit of pain in the chest. Got to be honest. Got to be honest. And that is, I don't know that gravel cycling or off-road cycling, at least in uh, southern England. Uh, is for me because I was uh, adding it up. I have had three, yes, three what you might call off-road rides as distinct from kind of cycle path, gravelly type rides. Uh, and if you're watching this in the, in, the, the, in the US, you won't really understand what I mean. But the fact is we don't have uh, the gravel routes in the United Kingdom, at least in southern England, that you do have in the United States. What we have is bridleways, and bridleways are not the right kind of um, environment for anybody, frankly, even brides, perhaps, um, because they are used by horses, hence the, the kind of bridle. You know the bridle that kind of the, the, the horse riders wear that, that stops them shouting at cyclists? And um, those bridleways, they get churned up by the, the six hooves of a horse, and therefore they get very muddy because they're often uh, un under tree cover, so they don't really dry out very effectively. So even if you've got a long dry spell that we've had in this country, actually, they're still uh, quite, 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 quite uh, still quite muddy. Then you end up with, with kind of ruts in them. So what happens is your wheel can get stuck in the mud and you can fall over. And if you're a shit cyclist uh, like I am, then unfortunately you're going to fall over quite a lot, which is what I do. So it struck me. That perhaps off-road cycling is not for me. And then I kind of thought, well, you know, all the bikes that I've got, and I had quite a few, um, they're all basically the same. They're road bikes, they've got drop handlebars. I mean, they've got different tyre options, they've got different kind of gearing options, but essentially they're all the same kind of thing. So I thought, Julian, you're getting old, mate. You're nearly 50 now, and it's time. It's time you looked at the world through different eyes. So uh, I applied for an eye transplant and I managed to get some, some different eyes. I got actually rose tinted eyes, which are, which are quite rare. But the thing about rose tinted eyes, and, and a lot of the people who voted Brexit have already had this transplant. But the thing about rose tinted eyes, it lets you see the world in a different way. It lets you see the good in things. It lets you see the benefits of Brexit. It lets you see the advantages of the sunny uplands. And so, I mean, of course, you're not seeing that. You're not really seeing that. What you're seeing is through rose-tinted eyes. So you're not seeing the truth, you're seeing the light, but it's nicely done. There's a kind of, there's a kind of pinkish sheen to it because you've got rose-tinted eyes. Anyway, I have now uh, had rose-tinted eyes transplanted into my eyes and therefore I see everything in a much more positive light. So I've decided, Julian, ring the changes. Do something different with your life. Spice it up. Yes, spice it up. Um, be be exciting, be bold, be different, be unusual, be, and you know, when you come to a fork in the road, take it. I actually thought, I used that in a video, but I actually thought I'd invented it. Then it turned out it wasn't me at all, it was, uh, it was Yogi Berra. Was it Yogi Berra or was it Yogi Bear? One of them. 
uh, get it mixed up. Are they the same person? <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you know Yogi Bear and Yogi Bear are the same person or not. Anyway, when we get into the unboxing, you so say the, vi the video, the normal, the optimum length of the uh, YouTube video, incidentally, is five minutes and 42 seconds. So if you go over that, people have a tendency to switch off as they often do with my videos and, and uh, if you've stuck with me this long you'll be thinking come on Julie get to the unboxing otherwise we're going to turn it off so don't turn it off just yet because we're going to get to the unboxing so come with me I'm not going to do that silly joke about you know I've got I kind of pretend to walk over here and then I come back and I say no come on come on come with me I mean what is the point of doing that oh I'm oh, oh, sorry I've done that joke anyway come with me and let's do the unboxing, because we have to do the unboxing in a different location, and you will soon realise why. Right, well, here I am. I'm in the unboxing studio and I'm ready to do the unboxing. The thing about this particular item that I bought, I must tell you this, I, I bought it and it, it didn't come in a box. And I said to them, I said to the guy, have you got a box? And he was like, well, what do you want a box for? And I said, well, I've got this YouTube channel, right? And he says, what, you want to do an unboxing? I said, yeah, I want to do an unboxing. Can you, yeah, can you let me have a box? So he said, OK, I'll let you have a box. So the box, the box is behind me, right? The box is pretty big. So let's try, let's just move this, this stool out of the way. And uh, I'm walking a little bit. Well, actually, now I'm, now I'm kind of too high, aren't I? If I get down here like this, and then I'll get the box, right? I'll drag it round here. I'm having to move, still moving a little bit gingerly because still got the old, still got the old chest contusion there. And I've still got that that particular bad uh, sprain uh, on the sole of my foot, but I'm good. things are getting better. So, oh, look at this, look at this. You're thinking, look at what has he done, what has he done, the idiot, what has he done, oh, oh, oh. And these are just, these are bits, these are instructions which just chuck over there, because obviously I pay no attention to that. And the only thing is, right, whether I can, um, I bought this, bought this specially, this is a piece of, uh, piece of blue, foamy plastic we don't need that and this is uh i don't know oh actually i do know what this this is a this is a thing for the seat the seat post the seat pillar so uh oh, what's that now let's just pick that up and chuck that on because i actually know what that is for because i watched a video last night on youtube about that particular item and here we have a saddle look at that this is a Right, I don't know if you can see the symbol on the saddle. Let me bring it up close. You might be able to see the symbol just there. And the symbol is, yes, no, wait for it. I'm not going to tell you. Um, I'm not sure, actually, with my current, sorry, you couldn't see my head there, with the current stage of my health, whether I can get this out of the box. So what I'm going to do is just going to turn it to there, right? Can you see it? And da 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 da! It's a Brompton! Yes, Julian has got it for himself. A Brompton. And can he lift it out without seriously... Oh, without seriously damaging uh, oh, the state of his health. Right? It's fairly heavy, the Brompton. It's not a titanium one, no, but you can't see my head, can you? You probably think that's an advantage. It is a steel Brompton. And it's a black Brompton, and for the first time in my life, as I said to my darling wife, sorry, you want to know, for the first time probably in my life, I said to my darling wife, I bought the cheaper option. Yep, I was looking at the, the black edition, and the black edition is basically all black, and you're paying quite a, a few hundred quid for that particular benefit, which I decided was not worth it. So I bought the cheaper model, yes, it's still black, but the other, the kind of bits of it, the seat post and so on and so forth, the uh, top, not, not the top tube, the um, uh, the stem uh, is not painted black, it's just silver. So let me just move this box 
out of the way. Maybe I can manage that. And let me just put it on the, the stool. And I'll get down so you can see my head. I'll get a bit closer to you. And I'll, well, I'm not going to unfold it because um, I haven't been to the Brompton unfolding class. I have signed up. But unfortunately, Bromptons are very popular at the moment, so I can't get onto the class until 2024. So this bicycle is going to have to stay in this folded up uh, position until I've been on the class and I've learned how to unfold it. So I just wanted to do that quick video there to show you that unboxing. There will be another box, another uh, video probably in 2024 when I've learned how to unbox it, uh, not unbox it, but unfold it and therefore put it together in that special magical Brompton way. Uh, and then you'll see me cycling around. So, an unboxing of a Brompton made in Britain. Yes, made in Britain. The only manufacturing item that is still made in the United Kingdom is the Brompton bicycle. Yes, well done, Brexit. And we're looking forward, I'm looking forward to going for a ride on it, uh, but probably not until 2024. So, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. I hope.